Everyone's talking about AI replacing jobs, including myself. But here's the irony. AI engineering is one of the fastest growing, highest paying fields in tech. Now, I know many of you watching this are either cloud learners or IT professionals and not necessarily looking to make AI your whole career or personality. So let me be clear on one thing. Learning AI engineering doesn't mean you need to suddenly switch professions to becoming an AI engineer. Instead, you can think of it as a powerful skill you can add to your toolkit that will pretty much make you invincible. Becoming an AI engineer at a company like AWS or Google often takes years. But what most people don't realize is that you can actually learn the basics of AI engineering within just a few months. You can also start creating real value with it so that if your job ever does get impacted, you can use this skill for freelancing, working at startups, or even building your own AI powered SaaS tool. There's also an increasingly popular role in the cloud space known as the cloud AI engineer, which we'll talk about later in the video. But first, let me walk you through what AI engineering actually is, a beginner's roadmap you can follow, as as well as some resources to get you started. Let's get into it. All right, so what exactly is AI engineering? Well, AI engineering is basically the process of turning ideas into real products with AI. This could be anything from developing AI models to building actual AI systems. AI engineers know a bit of everything, machine learning, cloud, and software engineering. Instead of just playing around with prompts or demos, they can actually build end-to-end -end AI applications. For example, one AI engineer could be developing a recommendation engine that offers a personalized video experience, just like how Netflix or YouTube suggests your next show to binge watch. Another AI engineer might be integrating a large language model into their company's internal tools, helping employees generate reports or automate support tasks. You can think of a data scientist as someone who creates the prototype and an AI engineer as the one who makes it production ready. Every major AI feature you see online exists because an AI engineer made it happen. And for those of you with cloud experience, this is great news. There's an emerging role known as the cloud AI engineer, which combines AI engineering with cloud infrastructure. You'd be building and developing AI systems on cloud platforms, handling things like security, scalability, and infrastructure optimization. Even being a cloud professional who specializes in AI can open strong career opportunities. So speaking of career opportunities, you might be wondering, Lucy, why should I learn AI engineering? And how exactly can it benefit me? Now, as I mentioned earlier, AI and machine learning roles are among the fastest growing in tech, with salaries well above traditional cloud and IT roles. In fact, according to a study by PwC, workers with AI skills receive a 56% wage premium. But beyond the salary, learning AI engineering gives you leverage. It gives you the ability to do more with the skills you already have. You can automate your work, speed up projects, and build tools that other people might need, instead of just waiting for tools like ChatGPT or Copilot to evolve. You'll also just feel a lot more confident with staying up to date with how AI is actually evolving, rather than being afraid of AI replacing jobs. Last year, everyone was raving about prompt engineering and calling it the next big thing. But in 2025 and beyond, being able to write good prompts is just going to be expected and not really a special skill. That's why companies have shifted their focus from prompt engineering to AI engineering, because it goes beyond just using AI tools at a surface level. When I first started exploring AI, by the way, I thought it was something that only data scientists or software engineers could understand. But once I built my own AI powered tools, I realized that you don't really need to know everything, every model, every algorithm, and so on. In fact, AI can actually help you learn AI. Tools like ChatGPT helps me a lot when I was troubleshooting my projects. So yeah, don't let the technical side of things stop you. You just need to be curious enough to experiment. Alright, if all that made you interested in building your skills in AI engineering, let me share with you a realistic roadmap you can follow to get started as a beginner. But before that, let me share with you a course I'd recommend if you're serious about breaking into AI engineering. Datacamp has an associate AI engineer for developers track, which is one of the most practical hands-on pathways out there. You'll work directly with tools like OpenAI API, Hugging Face, Pinecone, and Langcheng. You'll also learn how to build chatbots, somatic search, and recommendation engines. These are all what employers are actually looking for right now. The track covers prompt engineering, LLM ops, and embeddings as well. You'll develop rock solid software engineering principles through real world projects so that you're not just watching videos, but actually building your portfolio. I've been using DataCamp for years now to upskill myself and to recommend to tech learners new to the industry. Ooh, and if you want something that stands out on your resume, DataCamp now offers an AI engineer for developers associate certification. It's industry recognized and gives you a credential that you can share on LinkedIn or with your employers. And so if you're looking to start building real world production ready AI applications, check out the link in the description below to get started for free. Okay, so here's the beginner's roadmap I'd follow to learn 
learn AI engineering? Step number one is to learn Python and basic machine learning. If you're already in cloud or IT, you probably know one programming language, but now it's time to double down on Python. Learn how to use libraries like NumPy and Pandas. This will help you understand how data flows through a model. At this step, I'd also recommend looking into the AWS AI Practitioner Certification. I have a link about it in the description below. Step number two is to get comfortable with APIs and AI frameworks. Learn how to connect and use APIs like OpenAI and Hugging Face. Practice integrating them into small more projects, for example, by building a chatbot or an AI-powered tool. Step number three, learn LLM ops and deployment. If you already have cloud knowledge, this is where it comes in handy. Use services like AWS Lambda, Google Cloud Run, or Azure ML to deploy your models. Also learn about containerization with Docker and version control with Git. Once all that learning is done, step number four is to build projects. Create two to three small real-world projects that combine both cloud and AI. I'm currently working on a cloud AI engineer projects course, so make sure you subscribe to my channel to stay updated for when that launches. But honestly, the best project you can start is building something that makes your own life easier. One idea could be building an automated email responder using Gen AI. And finally, step number five is to show your work because no matter how good your projects or skills are, no one will know about them if you don't put it out there. Document your journey on LinkedIn, push to GitHub, and build a portfolio of experience. Now, the time you need to complete these five steps really depends on how much time you can dedicate each week. If you're putting in around 10 to 15 hours week, you can realistically go from a complete beginner to building your first AI application in about three to four months. But here's the better news. You don't have to wait months to see results or feel productive. In just after two to three weeks of learning Python basics and working with APIs, you can already start to build simple but useful AI tools, like an automated summarizer or a basic chatbot. The key here is consistency over intensity. 30 minutes a day will get you further than cramming five hours on a weekend, because with AI engineering, you need time to absorb these concepts, experiment, break things, and debug. Now, before we end this video, let me share with you the three biggest mistakes I see learners make when getting started with AI engineering. Mistake number one is something most of us have experienced, and that is tutorial hell. It's when you spend months watching courses and video tutorials, but never actually build anything. AI engineering can't be learned by just reading a book or watching a video. You'll need to open your terminal and sign up for tools. As a general rule of thumb, for every one hour of learning, try to spend at least one and a half hours building. The second mistake is chasing every new AI tool and trend. Every week, there's a new AI model, a new framework, or a new tool that everyone's talking about. And while it's tempting to try all of them, don't let that defer you from building your foundations, because that way you'll end up building a surface level knowledge of everything and a deep knowledge of nothing. Instead, pick one stack and get really good at it. For example, master OpenAI's API and combine it with Langchain. And mistake number three is copy and pasting code without understanding it. Because look, we all use tools like ChatGPT and Copilot to help us write code, but in order to really learn, we'll need to know why the code works. The goal isn't to memorize everything, but to understand the logic. All right, this brings us to the end of this video. Let me know in the comments below if you're excited to build your AI skills, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.